Hello, 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 my spookies. Did you bring your claw today? Welcome to Dungeon Clawler. What was new was it's like, it's a straight clawler. This is a demo that's been on my list forever. And I just kind of got around to it. And my God, the jam. I am loving this. Hi, we are Strayfawn Studio, a small indie team from Switzerland. Thank you so much for checking out the super early alpha demo of our new game. There isn't a lot of content in the game yet. Many things need to be polished and bugs are lurking around every corner, but we hope that you have a good time and would love to hear your feedback. Your music is freaking awesome. There's my feedback. Please consider adding the game to your wishes on Steam and join at the Discord. Let's go. My God, I'm obsessed with this. All right, start a new run. So this is a roguelike, which is something I usually don't do and don't enjoy very much. Uh, however, I will say, uh, besides the music being dope as frick, uh, Steam compared this game to Dicey Dungeons, which makes me really nervous and excited at the same time. Because Dicey Dungeons is the only roguelike in this universe that I enjoy and still haven't beaten. Um, <laughs> but, oh, Sir Bunalot. There's different people. Oh my gosh, there's a ton. All right, let's see. Sir Butterlot used to be a knight, but he gambled away all his coins and fell from grace. He is now on a quest to reclaim his lucky paw. Oh my God, is he a rabbit? Did they take a rabbit's foot? Which was chopped off by an evil dungeon lord. Your health is increased by 10. Start each turn with five blocks. That sounds nice. Scrappy is Sir Butterlot's strange cousin who's obsessed with metal. Probably because he grew up in the scrapyard. Alright. Okay. Uh, the second claw is always a big magnet. One strength to collect at least five metals. So it's like, from what I've seen of the videos, those claw games as a roguelike? It's very interesting. Felina was always made fun of because of her love of carnivores. She swore that one day she would tame a tiger, but so far she's only managed to tame a house cat. Hey, that listen, that's impressive. Count Clocula. <laughs> well, who's evicted from his castle because he spent too much money gambling on bat races and couldn't pay rent anymore. <laughs> All right, so deal 20 damage to yourself in one turn to unlock Dolly. No one really knows where Dolly came from. One day they just showed up in the dungeon. Most assume that Dolly is a discarded pin cushion. Benny Beaver. Benny always had a strong passion for wood, so after school he joined a group of traveling beavers to follow his dream of building dams. See. Bernie is always giving his all at work and has saved up a great deal for retirement. After countless all-nighters at the office, his shoes still shine, but his eyes have lost their light. Oh, that's terrifying. Alright, I'm just gonna go basic. Basic, basic, because... Alright. Collect your items using the claw to fight enemies. Hover your mouse cursor over things to get more information. Wazd to move on the map. A and D to move keys to move your claw. Space to drop and space to close the claw manually. Optional. Backspace to skip your turn. Optional. You can change the game speed in the settings. Alright, I don't have a clue what's going on. Alright, entrance. Fire. Right, let's go, I guess. Hold on. Wait, am I. Okay. Hello? Okay. What, what do I... Um... Oh. Oh! Was... Was, Debbie. Was. I'll tell you one thing. I am terrible at claw games. Alright, so these are blocks, and the swords are attacks. I'm all for attacking. So I see a lot of swords right here. All right, so you push space and jump, 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 jump. Hey, I think I got some goods right there. Okay, was did? That uh, looks like some blocks to me. Does it say what? Bl oh, I've, okay. Here's the block. Okay. Ooh, that looks like a big block. How about right here? Alright, there's a hit. Okay, 
Okay, hit some shields. I see a big sword right here. What is that? Reduces damage of incoming attacks. Attacks in the nearest enemy for 10 damage deals double damage when picked up alone. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know why that's there. Ah, well, I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. Still 10 damage. Still take you out. Ha ha. You can't get through my block, sir, for I am awesome. Ooh. Oh, I lost that little sword. Aw, oh, poor dagger. I think this game has been on my list for, like, since I started Omos. This is one of the first ones I ever kind of did research on. And I just never got around to it because I had the tag roguelike. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Not bad. Oh, no. All right, Brass Knuckle, attack your attack the first enemy for two damage gives you one dodge. Uh, attack the first enemy for two damage. The damage is multiplied by your strength. I don't know my strength. Plastic shield. Increases block by 15, decreases its block amount by five each time it's used. Oh, that's interesting. A dodge. Uh, dodge, one attack, reduces amount of dodge. Oh, any attack? It just dodged the whole thing, so you don't even need block. I think I'm gonna take the brass knuckles. Okay. What this means? This enemy intends to attack you. This enemy intends to increase its block. Oh, so it kind of gives you a clue on what you're gonna do. Alright, I'm gonna go for the brass knuckles because there's also a little- Ooh. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't even, uh, let's see. Oh, I don't need that many blocks. I got dodges. It's it's a really interesting take on this, too. Again, I'm used to dicey dungeons. And, but that's all, you know, luck-based on what the dice are going to give you, right? So you can plan everything in the universe, but... And this one I can see, so like that big sword does double damage if you pick it up alone. So let's see if we can manipulate that. Alright, I'm clearly gonna have to clear above that first. Oh no, I didn't want to pick it up! Okay, good, 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 good. Let's see if I can grab just that sword, just for funsies. Nope. Ah, I tried to hit the space bar. I almost got it though. My block is ridiculous. You guys can't even touch this. Da 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 da. Oh, the one thing I didn't want. Hmm. All right, let's get some damage on this bad boy. And so the other ones, like there's a magnet. There's other different types of claws that you can get that do different abilities. I am guessing. Okay, okay, all right. Prime. No! Oh! No! It flung in there? Oh, I almost had it, too. Alright, lucky stick. For 1 to 15. Ah, magic wand attacks the last enemy for 5, lets you heal. Okay, I'm definitely... Uh, this is a roguelike. Even though I have taken 1 point of damage, I know how important healing is in these games. Am I getting some? Critical healing, heal eight. If you kill an enemy with a critical hit. How do I get a critical hit? You gonna explain to me what a critical hit is? Nope. Junk jet deals one damage to a random enemy each time an item is added to the machine after the first turn. Not really sure what either of these mean. What's all this? My deck, perks, oh, my stats. Um, okay, I, again, really don't understand what these, I'm gonna take this and just hope I heal randomly. Sure. Ah, uh, okay. If you kill an enemy with a crit, okay. All right. I'm still on a mission to, 
Yes, yes, I got it. So it should do 20 damage, right? Yeah, all right. Weirdly strategic. I like that. I've never really played a game like this before. That's really cool. Oh, rude. Um, let's see if I can heal. Very nice. Oh, let's see if I can get it again. I'm kind of addicted to just trying to get this. Oh, waste of a turn. Oops. Well, he's gonna die now. <laughs> uh, cactus. Three damage to yourself. Increase block. No, thank you. Gain three block at the start of every turn. Big shield. Increase block by 10 when picked up. Double the amount of block when picked up alone. Ah, so it's like my big, uh, my big sword. This body armor is pretty good, though. Three block at the start of every turn. I think I want the body armor. Let's just block all the time. Whoa, what is this? I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna go for this right here. Money? What do I use the money for? Not sure, but here's a boss. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. All right, I'm going right for these guys right here. Let's get that block going up. I don't know what this boss is gonna do. Um, here's damage right here. Boom. It's not a whole lot of block though. That. Spikes deal one damage to the attacker when being attacked. Oh no. Oh, maybe I should focus on defense. There. Can't hurt me. It, oh well, it lasts for three turns. So. All right, I got a lot right there. Um, I can't remember what the brass knuckles do again. Uh, attacks two and gives me dodge. I want those daggers. Oh, and I lost a dagger. Unfortunate. <laughs> um, what are you gonna do? You're gonna buff itself. So, man, all my swords are buried, man. Gotta get some damage on this guy. Ooh, I almost lost that dagger. All right, is there any chance of getting that sword by itself? I don't think so. I get, I'm not great at crane games. I'm really not good at crane games. I never have been. Oh. I was like, what's happening to all my block? I'm attacking him, and it's trying to do damage to me. Oh. So he's got six spikes. And so every time I attack him, I take six points of damage. My block has been fending it off so far. There's where all my... Oh, okay. But I'm pretty set. I think I'm I think I'm good. I think this is just kind of like bare basic boss, and I think I'm kicking his booty hole. Ah, I have too much block. I'm too awesome. Too super great. Alright, I think I want those knuckles, because you're about to attack me. So let's get some dodge on me. This really does remind me of Dicey Dungeons. And I say that in the best loving way because again, Dicey Dungeons is the only roguelike I have ever been able to stand. Oh. Let's see if we can overkill this, shall we? Come on, all right. Skill, skill spooks, skill spooks. Oh, I got the shield in there. Drats. Oh, I really wanted to just double them up. <laughs> Berserker. Gain one strength every time you take damage. Hmm. You get two strength if there are no items left in the machine. How am I supposed to just empty the machine? No, I'll take the Berserker. Oh. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see floor of five. Oh, we're going to be here a while, my dudes. What's this? Pachinko machine... Hey, I play Dicey Dungeons. I'm going for that. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm picking 
up what you're putting down, game. I'm picking it up. What's this? Oh, you're a healer? Oh, you suck. Got all this confectionery. Oh my gosh, you hold him, healed him full strength. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I'm going to try again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. Boom. One. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I took so much damage because of that, but it was worth it. Um, Let's go for the heal. It's a roguelike. Keep your health up. Ooh, I grabbed a lot there. Nice. How the heck are you supposed to empty the machine? There's no way that's even remotely possible. Ugh, healers. Oh, that hurts. Alright, gonna attack for 15. Oh, I lost two of them. All right, I have enough damage. Right there. Rude. All righty. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but eh, nothing wrong with a heal. Where are all my damage? Hidden under here. There's one. He's gonna heal himself though, you butt munch. Oh! Nice! Seven damage. Ah, uh, more healing heat gun. Attacks the last enemy for three damage and shrinks right. Small sword. Attacks the nearest enemy for ten damage. Deals double. Ooh! I want another one! I like these guys. I like my swords. Yeah, now I got two of those suckers. Alright, let's put that dodge on here. Oh no, don't pick up the sword. What is that? Add an item to the- Oh no! Poison? That's sneaky. I am too good. I am too flipping good. Alright, well, let's just avoid that poison altogether, shall we? So, I'll tell you a story. Um, uh, Mr. Spooks is not great at arcade games. Not at all. Not in the slightest of anything in this world, right? <laughs> Never have been. <laughs> Even like the like the classic games of just like Pac-Man or this or that, anything arcadey. I, I didn't grow up with it. I'm not that good with it. I don't have that much practice at it. Oh no! Ow! Ah, I'm poisoned. Rude. Oh gosh, it adds a bunch to it. You suck so much, my dude. And and so I never played them that well because I was never good at it. And then I went to Japan. And for those of you who don't know, Japan is land of arcade games. Whoa, hold on. Deals 25 damage. Lose two health for each item that gets picked up in the same turn. Attacks the nearest enemy for 15 damage and removes block. I want both of these. These are pretty and shiny. Oh, moving block. That's really nice. But 25 damage. I want it. It's so pretty. I want it. Oh, I could upgrade it. Hold on a second. 35 damage. Let's go. How much coins do I have? I have no I, Oh, I have 31 coins. Okay. Yes. Um, healing is good. Oh, I'm poor. Oh, it's 18. Oh, man. I can't upgrade anything else? Suck. Boo. Alright, alright, alright. I need more coins. 
So I go to Japan. And uh, Japan is just nothing but crane games. And they're so much fun. And I will, I will swear to this to my dying day, I can't win crane games here in the States. Crane games in Japan are much easier. That's not saying that they're super easy, but I would win things all the time. Uh, they're, they're just like, when you play a crane game here in the United States, it feels like it's cheaty. You're like, this is definitely rigged. It's designed, you know, you grab something and it all just falls out and everything. Where the Japanese ones is like, okay, this actually, if you go at it enough, you're chipping it away little at a time, little at a time, and you do eventually get it. You know, how much money you put in there is, uh, <laughs> who knows? But it seems totally doable. You suck. And so, there was an instance of my life where I go, and they also have really great prizes in there where they had this gigantic stuffed llama. And he was adorable, and I loved him. I loved him so much, and I wanted him. I wanted this stuffed llama. I'm trying to get to that sword, but remember, you can't get anything else with it, or it'll hurt you. And I wanted this stuffed llama very muchly. Oh, and you just piled the poison on you suck so much. All right, let me get this. I know it's gonna poison me. Oh, oh, awesome. <sighs> so I'm trying to get this stuffed llama, and I must have spent like $40. It was bad. It was so bad. And I was obsessed with it. And again, it seems doable, right? I was, it was moving little by little, and I just couldn't get it that last couple of millimeters. And I was there for I don't even know how long. I had to have been like a good half hour, 45 minutes trying to get this llama. And eventually, now keep in mind, I'm the only white person around because this is Japan and that's about it. Eventually, this uh, worker came over to me and spoke zero English. Wait, I'm sorry, a credit card? Oh, you spend coins. Spends five coins permanently increases damage by two. I don't want to do that. Oh, attacks nearest enemy dealing three damage plus one damage for each ten coins. So it's only going to do four damage. I don't know what this shrinks to items means. Um. Plastic. Oh, metal because some stuff is metal. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. I don't want any of these to be- I mean, I can re-roll, but I don't think I want to spend coins because you can use that to upgrade. Nah, I'll just grab this. It's more damage, right? So eventually this worker comes up to me. Uh, zero English, zero anything, right? And he looks at me and looks at the llama. He's seen how long I've been there. And at first he unlocks the the case because the llama was stuck and kind of moves it into a more favorable position and me being the skill that I am immediately knocked it back into an unfavorable position spent another like 10 bucks trying to do it because you don't play with tokens you play with Japan has coins up until basically five dollars so it's a one dollar coin that goes in there and I knocked it back into an unfavorable position. I'm at it for another, like, ten minutes. And after a while, the guy comes back, and he looks at me, and he unlocks the case, and he just takes out the llama and gives it to me and walks away. It's <laughs> just like, I'll always remember that. It's just like, thank you, random worker. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me, but... But I always remember that. I really do. I'm sorry, what? Oh, they're moving. That's weird. Wait, is that my dark sword? Yeah, it is. Alright. I gotta be really careful about that. Oh, I thought I had it. I did, I did. Okay, hold on. I got it, I got it. As long as those things don't jump in my way. Oh, I no longer have the llama, which is very sad to me. Oh, wait. 
Why didn't it attack him? I had the dark sword, did I not? I swear I did. Let's avoid the dark sword, because I need some block up in here. What is this? Modify. Okay, so you're just trying to screw me up here. That's not what I wanted at all. I wish I still had the llama. I have a lot of things from Japan and a lot of stuffed animals because I had a problem when it comes to these machines. <laughs> I don't gamble for a reason. One, I'm not good at it. And for another, uh, I'm not good at it. <laughs> and I don't have the money for it either. That's 40 damage. Um, I think I want the big shield. Biggie shield. All right, come here, boss. Let's go. Oh, no. You have a lot of health, sir. I don't like that. All right, can I get my biggie sword right off the bat? Let's try. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Okay, at least I dropped one. All right, I have a feeling... No, you're gonna buff yourself, which means this is the time to attack. Hmm. Something. Not what I wanted, but it's something. Block does not reset per turns. Persistent armor. Ooh. Don't like that very much, now do I? Alright, let's go for- Oh, no, wait, no, that's my biggie sword! Oh, no, biggie sword! Oh! Well, at least I get hurt and then heal. Rats. Ah, uh, it's 25. Oh, wait, hold on. My biggie sword's right here. I think I'm getting the hang of it, guys. I think I'm getting the hang of this game. Very slowly. But I think I'm doing okay. And this makes me feel like a biggie genius. I feel really, really cool. <laughs> oh, biggie swords right there, sucker. Just a nice little delicate touch. Wham! <laughs> Alright, I need some biggie block, because you're about to hit me for 25. Wait, hold on. Isn't that double if I get it by itself? Uh, I don't know if I can pull that one off. No. It's something, though. It's something. All right, you're only gonna hit me for five. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, that's 39 points of damage. I don't like that. Um. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, that little dagger messed me up. Oh no. If I could get that dodge, that would be very good for me. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that dodge though. Uh, right here. Oh, oh, none, 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 none. The answer was none. Cool. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, my biggie sword is there. I gotta watch out for that. Oh, <laughs> look at it sitting right there. All right, let's see if I can get this here. I'm trying to knock this stuff away from Biggie Sword there. All right, very good, very good. Freeze my block up. All right, didn't take any damage. Really need that heal, but I really need to deal some damage. Actually, I'm not going to be able to deal damage because he has all his block on, you see? Ooh, fling that over there. That was kind of useless. good amount of block though so at least he's not damaging me I just need to be able all right I'm going for my there we go exposing biggie sword that's what I want all right can I get to biggie sword yeah oh I'm too good I'm too good wait hold on did that not do damage that didn't hit him. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Oh! Oh! 
that's gonna hurt. Not the worst, but... Oh, he's gonna hurt me bad. Wait, hold on, these are five, and that's 20, if I hit it below. Let's go for it. I know it's gonna hurt me, but it's also gonna heal me. Ooh. I don't have very much health, guys. <laughs> Whenever you take damage, one remaining item from your deck is added to the machine. Now, I like the gain strength every time you take damage. I like this one. Uh, oh, it heals me. Oh, thank God. Mystery room? Dispose? Gamble? Perk o mat I think I'm gonna go a hard fight. I think I'm gonna go this way. Alright, these guys aren't so tough. You got a lot of healers. Oh, you suck. Oh, I hate that. Biggie is underneath so much stuff. That's a good haul. That's a good haul. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Good, good, good. Nah, I just want to blast him with damage. Because he's just going to heal himself. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. What is this? You're going to buff yourself. I don't like that. Got to watch out for Biggie Sword. Oh, I had a good haul. But I didn't. There's Biggie. That's not a good one. I'm actually after that heal. I'm trying to deal damage and heal. Because we got a long road ahead of us, my friends. Gotcha. Nice. Antidote. Poison. Convert strength into block. Poison, because I think that sucks sometimes. I don't know what this is. An ancient looking chest sits in the middle of the room. What do you do? Open it? Hey! I got a small sword. Cool! Thanks! Okay. I would love this. Oh, I actually didn't know that it attacked. Yes. Okay. Um. Get block. Gives me two dodge. 15 or just double my daggers I don't see why not I'll double daggers or double box I think it's getting harder I think I'm actually gonna double my blocks even though I want to double damage I think this is actually more important all right let's play I guess I get why you wouldn't want to add things to your deck, because it makes it less likely that you're going to get items that you would potentially want. Pets? You can get pets? Well, I don't have any, so I'm just going to have three spikes. My cat is very interested in what's going on. <gasps> the kitten is watching the crane go back and forth, and she's trying to get it. Oh, that's so cute. That was a nice little damage dealer right there. Is 
a decent one. Not bad. Oh. Okay. Not great. Not a bad haul. I'm actually glad I increased the block there because uh, they're really kind of trying to... Oh, wait. Oh. One. One shield is now... I thought it increased every shield. Man. I got one shield. Oh, man. I'm getting my butt whooped. Jeez. Not good. Not good, she says. Not good. Here. <laughs> he took himself out. Uh, increases block by seven. Attacks the nearest enemy, dealing 0.5 damage for each missing health you have. That could be good. So for every two deals, wow, you could deal a lot of damage that way, but I think I'm gonna take the block. What is this? A reward. Okay. I would love some health, my dude. I would love some health. Let's go right here. Did I just get one? I got one health. Oh, that was balls. That was absolute balls. Oh, you're getting trickier. All right, you're gonna buff yourself, so I'm gonna try to deal as much damage as possible to you. Do not get that sword. And it's like, let's hit you before you do that. All right, let's see if I can get Biggie. Can I get Biggie? Oh! Uh, drats. What is that? Warcry doubles the strength at the end of every turn. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, thank you. The answer is no, thank you. Oh, I really wanted that block, too. Alright, well, I have ten, and you're gonna deal ten. So, let's go for over here. Seems to be a lot of goodies in this one. Try to keep my health up. I really need to pay attention to my health. Um, oh, Biggie Sword. I didn't even realize it was there, but I want to not get Biggie Sword. Ah, oh, Biggie Sword just sticking up, just asking to be picked. Nice. Oh, I feel cool every time I do that. Alright, I don't think you're too bad, boss, sir. I think I have faced harder and worse. Although, I do think that my, uh... Stuff is getting a little crowded. It's getting harder to get the stuff that I want, just because there's so much other stuff in here. Which I think is kind of the point. That's the strategy behind things, right? 28, so... Let's try this. Kitten is right where I need to be. Alright, I'm not too concerned. Oh, oh, I almost had that. I almost had it. Alright, let's see if I can get it from here. Come on, Biggie Sword. Come on, Biggie Sword. Oh, no, no, Biggie Sword. No! <laughs> Oh, here's some damage. Oh my god, 50! Oh, I wasn't even paying any attention. Oh, frick, he's gonna hurt. 50 damage! Oh, it increases each time. He's got... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna murder me. I wasn't paying attention at all. Oh, silly, silly spooks. Oh, am I gonna die? I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm dead. I'm totally dead. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, man. Nah. Oh, Spooks was not remotely paying attention. 
Oh, hey, I got Dolly. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna. I I know I'm a completionist and go to the end, but oh, that's cool. Okay, I really really enjoyed that, and that is the highest praise that I can possibly give to a roguelike, because I don't like roguelikes, and I really like that. Like, the uh, the only thing that I could possibly even say is that it would kind of value from uh, more sound, like little sound effects. I would love just tiny sound effects, just a little itty bitties, like for the attacks or something like that. But that is like nitpicking. That is super clever, super unique. That's really cool. And it's really hard. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I'm just trying to get my biggie sword and everything like that. And the next thing I know, I'm getting absolutely pumped. <laughs> Great game, guys. Go wish it, list it. Go give them some uh, some love. Go play it for yourself. That's a lot of fun. And they got, oh man, this is for a demo. They got a bunch of content in here. You just keep playing to your heart's content. Why not? That's cool. That's a good one. <laughs> if you enjoyed that as much as I did, hit that like button. We all like like buttons. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out so much. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video, right? Bye.